Hi, happy Thursday. Magandang umaga po. Magandang tanghali. Or magandang gabi. Welcome to Nourish My Soul. Ako po si Jeff. I'm the lead servant for LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene. Please join our church every Sunday, 9 a.m. in person or online. Uh, we're also available every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And uh, most of the days, uh, join us sa aming daily devotion, Nourish My Soul. Let's start with the reading of the word, January 14, 2021. Today is Thursday. Revelation 2.17 Let anyone who has ears to hear listen to what the Spirit says to the churches. To the one who conquers, I will give some of the hidden manna. I will also give him a white stone. And on the stone, a new name is inscribed that no one knows except the one who receives it. Wow. In Isaiah chapter 60, verse 17, I will bring gold instead of bronze. I will bring silver instead of iron. Bronze instead of wood and iron instead of stones. I will appoint peace as your government and righteousness as your overseers. What's your name? Ano ba pangalan mo? I've been called many names in my lifetime. My friends calls me Jeff or Jepoy or there's this classmate of mine in high school calls me Japok. My classmates calls me Jeffrey. Those, you know, Pag may tumawag sa'yo sa mall, Jeffrey, big sabihin, classmate mo yan ng grade school or high school or college because they know you as uh, kumbaga full name or Mr. Giwa. My wife calls me love. My kids call me dad. My church family has called me a variety of names including PJ or Pastor Jeff. We all have names we carry around with us. Some of them are wonderful and we wear them with pride. Others, not so much. I've taken on names like not enough, unqualified, damaged, depressed, overwhelmed. Maybe you carry names like that around too. Ever wanted to trade those names for a new name? Well, I certainly have. In Revelation 2, Jesus promises, I will give to each one a white stone. And on the stone will be engraved a new name that no one understands except the one who receives it. A new God-given name engraved on a white stone? Well, <laughs> sign me up. <laughs> Sali ako dyan. Is it really possible to trade in our old names for something new? Like Abraham to Abraham, Sarai to Sarah, Jacob the liar to Isaac. Can we upgrade to far better names? The names we were created for long for all along? Hmm. We can. Tell the person next to you. Yes, we can. Because God is in the upgrade business. He isn't going to leave us in our old, broken down, torn up lives. God will come alongside us and upgrade us to something fresh and new. To something victorious. Right? Maybe God, our Savior and Redeemer, the Mighty One, is whispering in your ear right now. He can say, I will exchange your burden for freedom. 
you're unworthy for valuable, you're insecure for confident, you're, you're not enough for enough, you're damaged for restored, and you're bitter for grateful. And I will make peace your leader and righteousness your ruler. Wow, I would love to hear that. Let me have your old hurtful names and harmful distorted identities and instead make you victorious, says the Lord. I believe God is ready to make an exchange. Are you? I believe he is referring to let us trade in the names that have hunted us, followed us, and held us back. We can grasp new names and embrace the fact that Jesus has declared us a victors, overcomers, and people worthy to be awarded a new name on a white stone. Your name is overcomer, says the Lord. Your name is conqueror, says the Lord. Your name is champion, says the Lord. And your name is victorious, says the Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for making me a victor instead of a victim. Thank you for changing my name from a loser to a winner. Thank you for the encouragement today, Lord God. Thank you for being my God. Lord, I am a sinner, but I believe that you died upon the cross for me, that you shed your precious blood for the forgiveness of my sin. And I believe that on the third day, you rose from the dead and went to heaven to prepare a place for me. I accept you now as my Lord, my Savior, my God, my friend. Come into my heart and set me free from my sin. And because you are my Savior, I shall not die, but have everlasting life. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen and amen and amen. God bless you. Happy Thursday. Bye.